Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. Let's get ready for the fifth round in the first season of the 2021 Series Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport. Here we are at Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi for 20 laps, and we're going in to have a one make race with using the Mini Cooper S 1965. We'll be ready to go. By having a grid start with full start check by taking the type. This one might have a slipstream. We'll be going in to take the lineup. It's going to be the only way we'll have to stay together as a group. It's only just going to have to take 5 turns to be in Miyabi in Kyoto Driving Park. So this is going to be the 5th round. We'll be going in to take the last day on Saturdays before we are about to be moving on to take on Wednesdays. While the Manufacturer Series will be coming in to take the next 5 rounds. We'll be currently to be moving on to take round 6. So let's go and get ready to grab a Mini Cooper with some standard colors or a livery design will be selected. So I'll be using with Cameron from Total Drama Revenge of the Island livery will be ready to go to participate to take the point race entry. But this one might have a sports hard compound tires by the regulations according to the balance of performance. But they will be having a 100% balance will be staying on to the power and weight. So this will be quite giving all set and ready to go and other settings will be prepped up automatically before we're about to be going in to take the most shortest track of all time. Let's go fast normally to join in session and everything is going to be a perfect clean race to be safe. Before you enjoy watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the race and let's begin. The 2021 Series Nations Cup is about to begin. Every GT player by using the Mini Cooper S 1965 is about to go on in Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi. Here's JJ Speed 227 in first place. Also for second place is Greasy 1974 in the blue Mini Cooper. And here comes Grayson Hobo in third place to be at the ready to be on the go green. And here's Metralo85 in 4th place going in for having first Warren Static in 5th place. This is going to be a pretty good awesome livery he made. And here's Grey Dog 4 in 6th place giving a color shift experience. And here is Stevenance in 7th place. Surf Blue is going in to be nice and relaxed. And here's Josh Walpez is now going in to take 8th place. And here's myself in 9th place for the Total Drama Revenge of the Island character livery Cameron on it. And here's Mother111 in 10th place, all set and ready to go with his own livery. FFR Fratio SP is now taking 11th place. And we have Berlin525 in 12th place to be going green. RPM underscore Kineo Reeves is now taking 13th place. And we have Diego Max I88 in 14th place. Position number 15 is Rocket Base75 is about to be ready to go. And here is username Danger in 16th place. Hot Rod in the Mini Cooper S. This is pretty awesome. Fat Home 4881 is in 17th place. And here is Sergeant Koopa Koopa in 18th place. And comes in onto the last place driver is Grump Pescor is now going in to be on to position 19. So this is going to be the most interesting race ever yet folks. Mini Cooper S in Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi with a grid start for the full start check we'll be going in for taking 5 seconds until we're about to be going green. So make sure get ready because this one might have a slipstream we'll be going in by the lineup. So here we go this one in to be in the 2021 series Nations Cup is about to begin underway. Let's do this you guys this one might have a perfect clean race so just gonna have a good respectful moment out there. 
and good luck. Now going in onto turn one, this one might have JJ Speed is now taking the front, but this one might have one car for a slipstream. Two cars is going in to take the side by side, just gonna have to give some extra space. Now coming in at the end of sector one, now comes in on to sector two, we'll be going in at turn two and turn three. Mother 111 is now going in to ninth place after overtake myself in the total drama library. This one might have to take turn three after turn two and better watch yourselves. Turn four is about to be going in onto the breaking point, so this one might have to be going organized. It's about to get crowded. Just gonna have to going in onto turn five after turn four, and that one might have R4M. Canelo Reeves is now coming in to defend onto my position. Go on to the straightaway at the first lap before moving on to take lap number two. And that one might have JJ Speed 227 is taking 1 minute and 11.593 seconds. That one might take the first lap by the warm up. We'll be going in to take the fast lap. We'll be taking the range of 57 seconds. This is going to get much tougher out there, viewers. This one might have a tough race. We'll be going faster with using the Mini Cooper S. And we have username Danger is going in to take 11th place. This is going to be a most incoming approach for every GT player since the Mini Cooper S is about to take one important risk. We'll be doing an exercise caution. Try not to push everything off the track. Now coming in at sector 3, this one might have the only terms of most finest inside cornering for every GT player to be taking a good successful moment out there. We'll have to stay on the formation lineup. By the second ago, we just have one driver has been taking a single jump by a cone. That we might have a good look at the instant replay after this, so just gonna have to keep a good focusing on for the next lap. Here comes lap number three, and I'll be willing to be going in to catch up onto username Danger with a hot rod livery. That we might have the wide eyed bubble boy from Total Drama Revenge of the Island is now going in to take action. Coming in onto sector 2 and go straight up onto turn 2 and turn 3 will be catches up onto the rest of the group but that one might have Frey Dong 04 is now going in to take the offense approach by the slipstream. And here comes sector 3 once again. Take that breaking point at turn 4. Inside cornering is going to be the only hardest part out there and all oh man it looks like Frey Dong 04 is now going faster to take that most opportunity to catch up onto username Danger. In about a few more gap distance, this one might have Fat Home 4881 is barely took the effect of the penalty before moving on to take lap number 4. And it goes down for myself in 12th place, but this is going to get a lot of more speed group in. Just going to have to keep a little bit more careful at turn 1. That almost barely took a contact on Greasy 1974 by slowing down. Side by side is going to get much caution out there for the Mini Cooper S. Now goes in onto sector 2, it's gonna get much tougher out there, gonna have to give some extra space. This one might have to take turn 2 and turn 3. Sergeant Koopa Tupa is now going in on the overtake by 11th place. Take turn 4. That one might have a troubled situation out there for only 2 cars to be in the most crowded situation, but no, make that 3 cars is gonna be much having a troubled situation out there. But I bet this race is going to be much pretty easy, but it goes much tougher it goes. Just going to have to be on the lookout without taking a side-by-side -side contact to be avoided to be going off the track. 15 more laps to go, and we are in the fifth lap. Mother 111 just barely took the fastest lap time by 57.455 seconds. He is going in faster to catch up onto the top three drivers, folks. But looks like everybody is on for the battle of the slipstream to be on the lineup for first place. Several drivers are still trying to catch up to the rest to be currently to be on the top five position. But the struggle goes on and everybody has to try to keep it under pressure to give every GT players a chance. Turn 4 is going to be much pretty tougher out there whenever it comes in to take the inside or mid outside cornering before going down on forward at the straightaway at the end of each lap. By any means for any GT players by using the Mini Cooper S 1965, this one might take the hardest challenge without taking a pit stop. On to the last minute, 
This one might have Greasy1974 is going in onto the ropes to catch up onto Diego Mac I88. And that one might have the 11th place driver from Canada is going in to be up the track to be nearly towards it. So he could probably have to stay on top of it. And now goes on for the Total Drama Livery is now moving on to take sector two. Hold on. Better watch yourselves. This is going to get much tougher, it looks. Watch out for username danger. This one might take the aggressive approach. And oh man, looks like he's going to have to try to keep it under control, folks. That was a pretty close call out there for username danger at turn four. That is pretty averted to see how it goes. That is incredible. Username danger survives that incoming approach at turn four and now moving on to take the straightaway after turn five by the next lap. Now goes on to lap number seven and the slipstream chase continues at turn one. Berlin 525 in the green Mini Cooper S is now going in to get closer to Sergeant Koopa Troopa in 12th place. The 13th place driver has to be trying to stay on for the same slipstream. That one might have to keep on for the progress, but that one might take plenty more practice. We'll have to work hard and work fast to take that good speed we'll be closing in to deal with the gap. But that is going to be the most important FIA Gran Turismo Championship of the Nations Cup. One make race in the Mini Cooper S, taking on the most toughest, shortest track ever in Kyoto Driving Park to be part of the Miyabi circuit. Gonna have to work it up quick. Keeping up the pace for a total drama livery will have to push up the limits. They still tries to be much respectful out there because it always tries to push each other off the track because they just really don't want this to happen. Now going in onto the 8 lap, there you go, just going to have to take that good lineup for only one car by taking a single overtake. That's how everybody has to do it. One lineup formation without taking any double side by side is going to be quite coming in to take any turns. Going in at the turn 2 and turn 3 at the second sector, now goes on to the third sector to be at turn 4. There you go, looks like this one might have several drivers to be on the overtake pass. Crowded Company is about to be going in to take turn 5. Sergeant Krupa Trupa is now moving on to take 13th place. While having me in 14th place, just not going to be taking the usual progress out there to take. But it still tries to work harder, but try not to take any mistakes during the competition to be part of this single round. 11 more to go, and we are in the ninth lap. The lineup catches up continues for every GT players in the single section to be in the lobby. It looks like this one might have a trouble approaching out there. We have a red Mini Cooper just barely going in. Rocket Face 75 is now taking the effect of 0.5 seconds, is now going in to be closing forward to take turn 5 to be at the penalty line. But wait, looks like this is going to get much troubling out there. Gonna have to take exercise caution to avoid a collision. And there it goes, there it goes. Looks like this is going to be quite happening, folks. Take that instant replay to have everything to have a good look. That is going to be quite possible to see this kind of a most intense race out there yet, folks. Watch out for the collision at turn four. That is going to be the most hardest spot for the Mini Cooper S whenever it comes in to have a crowded formation lineup between the inside or outside side by side to be coming in. Only 10 more to go and we are in the 10th lap. But wait, looks like this is going to be having a strike back moment for username Danger. He is going faster on the aggressive to take a single contact at a total drama livery at turn 1. Now goes in onto turn 2 before coming in at turn 3. Take sector 2, we'll be leaving in onto sector 3, and here comes the fourth corner. That one might have the only breaking point we'll be given the exact Q spot. And about a few more distance to go for a username Danger. That one might have a two second penalty, we'll be forced to slow down by crossing the penalty line. But that one might have the opportunity for a single total drama livery, we'll be going faster to be on the straightaway. That's the ticket. Keep on racing to stay on the slipstream and going in on to lap number 11. Two car is going to be quite taking a slipstream lineup in progress folks. 
but a Cameron Lebrie will be tries to step up the pace but wait, looks like FFR is now going in to take that overtake pass. Gonna have to push harder to be in turn two and turn three. That's more like it. Leave that space, giving an open spot view out there. We'll be going in at turn four at sector three. Rearing up to go is gonna be quite taking some understeer counter effect. We'll be taking the inside turn on the apex. Just gonna have to push through. Now it will have to take that perfect chance to be in turn 5 and the slipstream progress will have to be continued on by catching up with some several opponents. By the update in the fastest lap, Deepinant just barely took 57 seconds by the decimal of 329. This is going to be quite doing impressive out there for the 7th place driver. Now currently to be moving on to take 6th place to catch up for only a few more gap distance to go. But be on the lookout. Every side by side on every corner is going to be much tougher it looks. This one might have to take some open space whenever it goes stronger and better it takes has to go on for having tight sub turns is going to be quite giving some wishful thinking. Everything is going to be good. Staying on in ninth place while having Sergeant Koopa Troopa is now going in to take the offensive approach. Take turn 5, catching up on to Racing Hobo in 8th place at the end of the 12th lap. Now goes in on to lap number 13. Things might be going on out there for the top 3 drivers. JJ Speed 227 is still going on for taking the most intense race on the struggle for the first place. So now he's going in to take that good defense on going to take that hard work out there. But this will might have all in the day's work to see how J Speed 227 will be taking home the podium at any time. So meanwhile, at turn three at the end of sector two, Ray Dong 04 is still actually trying to be going in at turn four, but this will might have that good breaking position. It's gonna get much harder it looks. And a total drama livery by having an overtake to be dropping down onto 12th place. Looks like this one might have three as a crowd having a most toughest intense moment out there to see how this is going to be quite taking a hard time struggle to be on the catch up slipstream. But that is almost to be having a good moment out there to be in the fifth round. Moving on to the 14th lap and we have an update on the fastest lap time is Mother 111 from third place by taking a good 57 record time by a decimal of 306 seconds. He, he did a pretty good job out there folks. Mother 111 is now going faster on the progress when he's in third place. That will might take the only bronze medal we'll be going in to take the highlights. Still getting a little bit left behind from the group. Only for myself in 12th place for the total drama delivery is going to be taking on turn 4 is going to be going down on to turn 5 in about 1.6 seconds onto the gap distance along with the other three drivers from 9th through 11th place. Going in onto the straightaway at the end of the 14th lap, now goes on to lap number 15, only five more to go. Just be on the lookout for username danger from 1.6 seconds in 13th place. This one might have to buy some time while well, catches up onto the three opponents in 9th through 11th place. The battle will be going in for having a 8th place is getting much closer in, so this one might have to be on the lookout, but the 4th gear is going to be quite staying on for the usual pace out there. Now goes in on to turn 2 and turn 3. Now coming in onto sector 3 after leaving sector 2, turn 4 is going to get much slightly it goes. Take that counter steer will be going under approach. Looks like Berlin 525 is going in for the overtake folks. This one might have the opportunity for a Lime Green Mini Cooper S will have to take action to see onto the straightaway before coming in onto lap number 16. And we have Great Dong 04 is now taking the fastest lap time by having a new record. 56.737 seconds. Wow! That is incredible. Great Dong has successfully beat a 57 record time to be moving on to be at 56 seconds. 
no matter how everybody in the Mini Cooper S could probably have to be able to beat that time. This is going to be much challenging, but you have to do a lot of good speed by the slipstream, folks. This will might take a hard challenge whenever we have to take much brilliant progress to take much better slight turns. Coming in onto turn 5, this one might have 4 cars will be going in to be at the straightaway before at the end of the 16th lap. Now it goes on to lap number 16 for the top 3 drivers. JS Walpass is now going in to catch up onto JJ Speed 227 in the lead. Look at them go you guys. That one might have a good, brilliant run for the first and second place driver. And goes on for Mother 111 in third place. We'll have to take that second sector at the end of sector one. But that one might take some circumstances to be on the progress. That one might have the lineup slipstream is going to be much far separate ways to see how they could probably have to be closing in by every gap, by every single inch amount of a distance. The other group have already made it in onto Sector 3, and even for myself in the total drama livery of the Mini Cooper S with camera on it, that we might have to take that good slightest clean turns to do some R&D knowledge work. But wait, looks like this is going to be quite giving us some tight unexpected terms. Keep an eye out, this one might have a penalty detected, we'll be going in onto the next lap. Two more to go, and we are in the 18 lap. Everybody is still tries to keep up onto the fastest lap by every 57 seconds. Still no sign for having a new record for 56 seconds to beat Bray Dong's old Ford lap time. Just gonna keep going. This one might have to close in onto the gap in about 1.5 seconds to go for the 12th place driver. That one might take some good clean turns to be onto the second and third corner and goes on to be at sector 3 at the end of the second sector. Turn 4 will be staying on to be at the same breaking point we will be going on for having an understeer counter effect. Keep it up. Looks like this one might have the battle for 8th place is on the way. Now it's going to be lap number 19 and every driver will be moving on at the end of the 18 lap. So this one might have one more to go and the top three drivers is now going to be staying on to be reached up at sector one before going in onto sector two towards the second and third corner. JJ Speed is actually tries to keep up with a good pace of skills but wait looks like JS Wall Pass is now going in to take that overtake pass. This is going to get much closing in in about a few inch. That one might have that safe advantage to be at turn 4. Keep going at it JJ Speed, you can do it. Take that first place finish to be going in onto the podium. So meanwhile, Berlin 525 is still actually tries to catch up onto the rest of the drivers. But this one might have two more will be added up to join the party. But this one might have the final lap will be- Oh man, looks like this is not good. We have an incident going on to be at the straightaway. Metallo85 is now going to be in onto 12th place while I'll be having myself to be in 11th place. Racing Hobo has just really took a push by having a punt. This one might have to avoid a penalty. This one might have the final lap is about to go on underway. JJ Speed 227 is now going to be staying on to keep it up on his most best race attempt while Jay Ash Walpass is now going to be taking on for having one last push. He's going in for the overtake. This is going to be quite good and we have Mother 111 is now going in to take second place by almost had the chance. This is going to be good to have turn 5. Keep going at it JJ Speed. You can do it. Take home that finish line and that we might have the fifth round in the 2021 Series Nations Cup. JJ Speed 227 wins the race. That is incredible. That was the most slipstream epic race in the Mini Cooper S is on the run to be at Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi. JJ Speed 227 wins the race in round 5. That was incredible. That was a pretty good excited 20 minute race to be here. So it looks like that one might have 10th place for a total drama livery. That one might have a results to be confirmed. It was a pretty good absolute finish for having a third time to be in the clean race.
but that that is how slipstream by having a one make race is going to be much important whenever it comes in to be on a short circuit so let's go and have that good results earnings and that we might have a good successful outcome to see how everybody did so far Now that was a pretty good results finish for the fifth round in the Nations Cup. JJ Speed 227 have finally reached first place for having a good successful win. JS Wallopez is now taking a good second place finish by having a catching up moment onto JJ Speed 227. This is going to be quite good for the exact gap distance and range in about 0.365 seconds. Mother 111 did a good job for having a third place finish. So that we might have JJ Speed 227 will be congratulations for having a good successful win. We did a good job out there to be at Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi for the Mini Cooper S. So this we might have the important thing whenever it comes in to take an old fashioned one make race. Just gonna have to take respectful ways to be on the most clean race whenever it comes for having an overtake. but. Try not to do any contact to do a side by side because dirty race does not count just gonna have a good positive clean race for having the most important race ever yet. But you're very welcome JJ Speed 227 much appreciate for having a good response endorsement. That one might have a good replay to be part of the highlights. Well folks the Michelin tire stickers are now in place for the Mini Cooper S 1965 will be available to keep on standard colors and custom livery whenever you like to pick for the competition. The first five round is finished on Saturdays and moving on to round six will be scheduled on Wednesdays will be at the shortcut layout in Autopolis International Racing Course by using the Group 4 category. Better make sure to get ready to do a different group 4 race with some chances of having a Michelin tire stickers. This one might have the manufacturer series will be taking over by taking a switch. Thank you for tuning in on my video folks. I hope you enjoy. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification uploads to be turned on and the links of the description down below if you really want to see more. You can check it out on Instagram, Deepinet Arts, GT Planet, and other social media platforms if you really want to follow me. And don't forget to support my main project, Vision Total Drama, the next chapter of the Total Drama fan art to support the community. I'll be seeing you guys next time in the 2021 Series Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport, and I will see you later in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.